Today at Nintendo Prime, we're going to talk about console wars, fanboyism, oh boy, strap yourself in, I expect to get a lot of backlash today. So, what brings this topic to the forefront isn't actually anything to do with Nintendo per se, it actually has to do with Phil Spencer, who runs the Xbox division at Microsoft. And in the past and over his history, he's always been vocally against fanboyism and against console wars. He feels that as consumers, you should just play games and enjoy them on whatever platform you own, right? There shouldn't be this big hubbub over, you know, who has the best platform, who has the best games, who has the best exclusives. Reality is we're all consumers and we all play games to enjoy them. And that's that's totally true of us Nintendo fans, right? We, we choose Nintendo games primarily over other games out there because we enjoy them. We have fun. It doesn't matter if someone thinks they look like crap or if they complain about no anti-aliasing or blah, blah, blah. It's not in 4K. We enjoy the games we have. And I have no problem with people who enjoy other types of games as well. You know, the people who love Call of Duty, the people who want 4K gaming and virtual reality. There's nothing wrong with any of these spectrums. But there is something wrong with fans. And I, as I said, this might upset some people because I'm sure we have some fanboys that follow us here at Nintendo Prime who either are big fanboys of Zelda, big fanboys of Nintendo. And I almost hate the word fanboy because it is derogatory. It implies an unhinged love for a specific game or a specific company that... Uh, makes you unable to appreciate gaming on the whole. And I feel like this needs to be addressed at times because fanboyism is rampant. And ironically, I'm talking about this topic because a channel called Review Tech USA brought it to the forefront about the words that Phil Spencer put up on Twitter in a recent response to some words he had to say about a game called Little Knights, I believe. And Little Knights is a multi-platform game, and he basically congratulated that game for getting good review scores. And, you know, saying, hey, you know, good job. And, uh, like, uh, this one guy responded to him and said, Horizon Zero Flaws. It seems like the team Xbox and Phil are really pumping this game, even though it's multi-plat. It's also strange that Metacritic's six points higher on Xbox One than PlayStation 4. Which Phil Spencer replied with, I'll never feel strange promoting great games. You should play it on the platform you own. Very good point. And the reason why I said it's strange that uh, Review Tech USA brought it up is because he mentioned that channels that are specific to Sony, specific to Microsoft, or like specific to Nintendo, are generally fanboy channels. And uh, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say that I love Nintendo. The reason that we have this channel going is because of my love for Nintendo. But as people have noted, especially after I put up the Why the Wii U Failed video, I am not afraid to criticize Nintendo. I am not afraid to realize they are not perfect. And yes, I do game on other platforms. I own an Xbox One S. I own a PC capable of high-end gaming. I own a PlayStation 3, not a PlayStation 4 yet. I probably will buy a PlayStation 4 someday. I have a 3DS, I had a Vita for a little bit, I had a PSP in the past. I am a gamer, right? I don't identify myself as that Nintendo gamer, even though I love Nintendo games and I'm passionate enough about them to run a Nintendo channel. Uh, reality is that I am maybe one of the most unbiased Nintendo fans out there uh, because I do. I don't just walk the walk, I talk the talk. You know, I talk the talk and I walk the walk, I should say. <laughs> so I don't just say that other platforms have good games. I play those games. I know how good they are. I have the ability to enjoy games that aren't on Nintendo's platform. And in many ways, that's why I want to see so many multi-platform games come to the Nintendo Switch. I want Madden to come to the Nintendo Switch. That way, I don't have to buy it on Xbox One because I would love to have it in a portable mode that I can also slap on my TV. I feel like that would be a, su a superior experience of Madden for me. But I do own other systems that I can play it on. Now, I'm getting back into what Phil Spencer had to say here. Uh, back in October... He had a really long thing uh, talking about the distaste towards the negativity of other gaming platforms. And here's what Phil Spencer said. And I don't. I've been vocal about that as well. I'll turn it around now. Like when ReCore came out and there were some of the lower scores that were given, I would have PlayStation fans tweet me, happy that ReCore wasn't getting great review scores from some outlets. I just thought it was such a negative thing for our industry for somebody to be gleeful that somebody gave a game a review that was lower than what the team expected. And I don't just think that about that in terms of the games that we build. I can look at Hello Games and No Man's Sky. I've known Sean Murray for years, and I said I want them to be successful with the games that the industry builds. 
The games industry is getting bigger and better as more people enjoy playing games. And I also think about the teams behind these games. And these are people who spend years of their lives so committed to the art form of building games. And then when it comes out, for somebody to kind of fold into uh, my console is better than your console in a very petty way, I find it completely distasteful. And he's not, I mean, Phil Spencer is 100% correct here. And I want to swing this around and apply it to Nintendo because we as Nintendo fans have a tendency to tout our system is greater than your system. The Nintendo Switch is vastly superior to the 3DS and is vastly superior to whatever the Vita was trying to do. And, oh, it's way better than the cross-play that PlayStation had with the PlayStation 4 and the Vita or the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. And that's fine. That's great. I'm glad that you guys love your Switches. I'm glad you loved your Wii U's, your Nintendo GameCubes, your Wii, your DS. Like, it's great. I love those platforms as well. But there's nothing wrong with other platforms that do their thing. Oftentimes, I see Nintendo fans come out. And this is the most common argument I see. And is, and every time I post, like, a video about an Unreal Engine remastering of a game that a fan creates or whatever, someone will, there's always, without doubt, someone in the comment section will say, yeah, well, you know, graphics aren't everything. That's not what matters in gaming. It's like... That's not what matters to you in gaming. We need to we need to clarify here that there is no wrong way to enjoy video games. If some people enjoy video games just because they look gorgeous, that's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with people who want, say, an Xbox Scorpio or a PlayStation 4 Pro or a high-end gaming PC because they want to experience games in the highest possible visual fidelity they can with the best performance possible, whether it's 60 FPS or 100 FPS, whatever the case may be. Uh, with 4K resolution, or there's 8K resolution out there, there's now, like, an Apple monitor that has a 5K resolution. Like, it's okay for people to want to experience that and enjoy it. And just because you might play games, or I might play games, or, you know, Joe Schmo in the corner might play games for different reasons, it doesn't mean that people that do enjoy high graphic fidelity are wrong for enjoying it. And for them, no, the Nintendo Switch is not going to provide them the gaming experience that they want. And that's okay. Just like it's okay for people who like the Switch to enjoy a different gaming experience than those that might enjoy the Xbox Scorpio. And yes, it is possible to be someone like me who enjoys the whole gambit of video games, right? I'm a gamer. I'm not just a Nintendo gamer or a Zelda fan. I am a gamer. That's why I have a high-end gaming PC. Well, technically I have it to edit video, but I can play high-end games on it. That's why I'm excited for the Xbox Scorpio, because there absolutely should be a home console on the market pushing the boundaries of power and graphic capabilities. That should exist. In fact, Nintendo used to be part of that power battle. They were doing it with the GameCube. So Nintendo's actually done this in the past. And I loved what the PlayStation Vita was trying to do in pushing the hardware capabilities of a handheld device. That's exciting. There always should be someone pushing for that bleeding edge. But that doesn't mean that that's what every company needs to do. That doesn't mean that PlayStation 4 Pro now needs a PlayStation Pro Plus thrown out there that's just as powerful as the Scorpio. That's not to say that Nintendo needs a Switch Plus that now is just as powerful as a as the base PlayStation 4. Nintendo doesn't need to follow what Microsoft and Sony are doing. They can go their own path and provide a unique experience that hits with a different type of consumer. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like as fans, we tend to get tied up in trying to justify our fandom, right? We've been attacked by other fans in the past. I, as a Nintendo fan, I could tell you I've been attacked by people who are fans of Xbox and PlayStation and even gaming PCs. I've been attacked many, many times over for my fandom of Nintendo. And I always thought it was funny because I'm also fans of the stuff that they have going on as well. So it's not like I don't enjoy what they what they have going on or don't enjoy the bleeding edge of video games and virtual reality. Although I'm not really a big fan of virtual reality, eh, whatever. Reality is that I enjoy games. And I feel like all of you guys out there enjoy games. And we need to stop being so judgmental, so fanboy-like in saying that we are better than they are because our games have higher reviews. At Breath of the Wild proves that the Switch is the best video game console out there because it's one of the highest review games of all time. Ha ha ha, I beat Horizon. La 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 la, Horizon sucks. No, Horizon doesn't suck. It factually does not suck. Horizon Zero Dawn is a very, very good game. But as Nintendo fans, we feel like we have to justify uh, Breath of the Wild's you know, rating or justify our fandom of Nintendo. And what are we justifying it for? We All that matters when we play video games is that we have a good time, right? 
I can love a game like Puyo Puyo Tetris, and you guys could absolutely hate it. Or you could get frustrated by, as some people pointed out on the last time I put up a video that had Puyo Puyo Tetris in it, you could be frustrated by my lack of skills at the game. And that's okay, because you're not the one playing it. I am, and I'm the one enjoying myself playing it. Uh, it doesn't matter to me how good I am at the game, as long as I'm having fun. And that would be even true if you guys watch me play Breath of the Wild. Some things I look really, really good at. Other things I look like a scrub. And that's okay because I'm just having fun. I don't necessarily care if I'm the greatest Breath of the Wild player in the world. And that's kind of the way we, we have to take a step back sometimes from our fandom. Because as much as I am invested in Nintendo, I mean, in a, in a recent tw a video when we hit 21,000 likes or 21,000 subscribers, I showed off that I have a, a pretty decent Switch uh, game collection. And that's just what I have physically. I have some more... Uh, digitally as well, but, you know, I, I obviously, I, I'm more invested in Nintendo than other companies, but I, that doesn't mean that I feel like other companies are wrong for doing what they do, or that I feel like we need to, you know, put one game on a pedestal and then bash every other game that might be similar to it, as, as an example, the Breath of the Wild versus Horizon debates that have happened out there. Um, I feel like, People should, I feel a lot like Phil Spencer in a way, that people should just enjoy games on whatever platform they happen to own. And there doesn't need to be this constant beating across the bush or beating in the head or throwing people over the bridge because, oh, the, my multiplayer game performs better on this system than that system. Or, uh, you know, my exclusive is better than your exclusive. Or my hardware has more capabilities than your hardware. Like, oh man, the Xbox One S is a 4K Blu-ray player and the PlayStation 4 Pro doesn't have a 4K Blu-ray player. Oh no, the Xbox One S is better. Or, oh, the Switch is completely portable and has cartridges and cartridges load faster than discs and you don't have to do game installs so the switch is better like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what matters is that we as consumers are enjoying the products we have i as a nintendo fan thoroughly enjoy my nintendo switch it is providing to me exactly what i want from nintendo giving me a way to play games that i previously did not have in such a convenient form and I'm still getting other ways I want to play games from other platform holders. And I'm fortunate enough to own other systems to allow me to enjoy those games as well. When I can afford them, of course. Gaming is still a very expensive hobby. Um, and I kind of blew all my recent budget on Switch games. So, I, you know, I, I'm a little behind the ball on some of the other multi-platform games out there. Uh, and it's true that I want all my multi-platform games to come to Switch. Because I think the Switch provides that portable feeling that other consoles don't provide. And I feel like a lot of third-party games would benefit from that. Uh, and you can see by some people who are still excited for Skyrim. Okay, a game that came out five years ago. A game that was remastered last year. People are excited for it on Switch because they could take Skyrim on the go. Uh, and not have to have like a gaming laptop set up to do it. So... Anyways, this is the Thunder Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. Just letting you know that these fanboy wars, these console wars, they're dumb. They're stupid. We're all gamers, and we all play games for our own reasons, and all that matters is that we enjoy them. Alright? Who cares if someone else enjoys games for a different reason you do? Or if so-and-so has to make themselves feel better about something they bought or something they're invested in by bashing something that they haven't bought and they're not invested in. Let them have it. Let them let them act like idiots. It's okay. We don't have to stoop down to that level. No fan has to stoop down to that level. We should rise above. And if there's nothing else I hope to accomplish at Nintendo Prime with our fan base, I hope it's one that rises above the noise, right? That we are not so consumed by Nintendo that we can't recognize that there are other good things going on in gaming too and other good games that Nintendo doesn't have. It's okay. Everything will be okay. I promise. So if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike it, well, you know, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, if you want more videos like this and other content, please subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.